black and white. They are very nice. They're very comfortable. I am having some pain. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very fun and exciting video. Today's video is going to consist of me reviewing these new Hoka shoes I bought. So I started going on jogs and prior to this I was using some Nike shoes that are really old. I don't even remember what model they are but I'll show them to you and they're just very worn out and I feel like when I'm running it was causing me to have a lot of pain on my foot like the impact of me running and hitting the concrete since I am running on like the street um it was causing my feet to hurt especially towards the end of my run and when I'd be done running so I wanted to get new shoes I tried to like research a little bit and came to the conclusion that I either wanted some Hoka's or some Brooks and then I went to REI I tried on both they didn't have my size in the Brooks but I heard very good things about these Hoka's so I decided to get these instead and I am going to be taking you all along on a run to show you guys how I feel in them and then run for a couple days and then give you an update on my thoughts on the shoes, how I feel, whether they were better or worse than the shoes I was using before, and yeah. So here are the shoes. As you can see, they are the Bondi 8, uh, size seven and a half. I got them at REI, like I mentioned. So these are the shoes themselves. I decided to get a very neutral color, just the black and white. They are very nice. And as you can see, like this cushion is huge. This is a lot of cushion. And this was really important to me because I felt like a lot of the pain that I was having from running was due to the fact that my shoes had very little cushion. And to me, it's not as important to like have very lightweight shoes that help you like run faster or are more springy. I more so just wanted cushion. And so these were the ones that I settled on. I know there's uh, different styles and, you know, different brands, obviously, you could go with. But these are the ones I got, and I'll be reviewing them for you guys. So right now, I'm actually going to be putting the shoes on and going on a jog. And then I'll probably insert a clip of me running in here. And then I'll give you guys my thoughts when I come back. And we'll kind of do the same thing for the next couple days and see what we think about the new shoes. But, yeah. Wish me luck and hopefully <laughs> these are the ones I need that solve my problems I'm having and I don't have to go through like trial and error trying to find another pair of shoes. Hey guys, I hope you can hear me well because I can't hear myself because I have these headphones on and they're very much noise canceling. As you can see, I'm looking like a tomato. I'm wearing the Hocus as promised and I have been jogging slash walking. Right now I'm just walking. I found like a new path in my neighborhood. So I'm just walking it, casually strolling. And I am currently a mile and a half in. And so far I really like the shoes. I feel like they're very comfortable um, and very cushiony. I don't feel at all the pain I was having before with like running and feeling like the impact of the pavement. But the inner part of my foot seems like it's like hanging off the shoe a little bit which I don't like the most but it's more so when I'm walking if I'm running I don't really have that problem at all so all good in that aspect hey guys it is currently day two of wearing my new hokas to jog slash walk as you can see I have them on and today I was able to jog one mile and I felt really good in the shoes. They were very comfortable, very cushiony. But then after I finished the mile, I felt a lot of like soreness or cramping in the back of my calves. So I, ooh, bugs. I stopped jogging and started walking. And I've been walking for about 20-ish minutes now and I feel perfectly fine now. Um, I don't necessarily think it was related to the shoes just because I haven't been stretching before I jog. And then I just kind of start jogging I don't ease into it so oh bugs that is likely just my fault but that's currently the situation I'm like two miles in and I'll let you guys know when I'm done today is day three of running in my hokas running slash walking because I <laughs> do not run very much of this journey but I am having some pain 
it is like on the inner part right here and like in this part of my leg again haven't been stretching before my run so i guess tomorrow i'll start off by stretching first and then i'll run and see if that solves the pain i feel like my foot is just kind of sliding too much towards the inner side of my shoe because there's a lot more um like cushion and yeah cushion of the on the bottom of the shoe towards the outer edges so i think it's just that my foot's sliding inward and that's why it's causing me some pain but they're very good at absorbing the shock of the floor because i'm running on like road pavement concrete i did go up to this trail near me that is mostly gravel and like dirt and over there they felt so much better but even when i run on this like concrete it's nowhere near as bad as i felt when i was using my nike shoes to jog before getting the hopeless so maybe you know consider other brands or other styles of hokas if you um particularly have like pain or you tend to walk more with your foot like this towards the inside than completely flat just because it does cause a little bit of pain it's only on my right foot though my left foot is completely fine so could just be a me problem but just wanted to give you guys this small update and we'll see how i feel tomorrow when i stretch before i run all right guys I am coming to the end of this portion of my walk as you can see I'm almost oh almost at three miles ignore that I'll put a screenshot of it at the end I'm going home I'm gonna pick up sage and then just continue this walk since I'm just walking anyway I might as well walk her for a little bit so stay tuned all right guys it has now been a few days probably like over a week honestly since I filmed those other pieces that you're gonna see in this video but as I said at the beginning of this, I tried the Hoka Bondi 8 shoes. This is what they're looking like. They're a little more dirty than the first day I showed you guys the shoes just because I actually wore them and went out with them and I was running in dirt and just the street. But these are the shoes I was using before. As you can see, they are disgusting. They are very worn. They're Nikes. But let me see if I can find what kind of Nikes they are nike fs light run three so these were the ones i was using before if as you can see look at the cushion on the bottom of these compared to these these have a lot more cushion these are also very old so they're probably very worn out but this is why i needed new ones because these ones were causing a lot of pain in my foot when i'd run after i'd finished running it felt like i was like walking barefoot on concrete when I was running because it had no support and these are very cushiony so honestly in terms of cushion support 10 out of 10 recommend these but as you guys saw in the video I was mentioning that if you are someone I don't even think it's like about a wider foot because these fit my foot very good I think my foot just slides inward or tilts inward so I was having some pain on this part of my foot only on I don't I think it was only on my right foot I don't even remember which foot. You'll see it in the clips. I talked about it. But that's the only complaint I had about these shoes is that it, my foot would kind of slide towards the inner part. And then it felt like I didn't have as much support right here. Because as you can see, the shoes are kind of curved out this way. So there's a lot more cushion this way. So that you're, even if your foot's fully on this side, you still have a lot of cushion underneath. But on this side, as you can see, the cushion is kind of curved like this. So if your foot is out like that, this part is not above any kind of cushion it's just kind of hanging off the side which i think is why it was probably causing me a lot of pain but in terms of cushioning like i said these are very good shoes they don't weigh a lot they're super lightweight they're very comfortable honestly even if you don't get these hokas i would definitely recommend the hoka brand because even though they are very pricey these shoes are very much worth it in terms of comfortability endurance like just overall they seem like very good quality shoes i also like that they have like little holes on the top so they're pretty breathable this i got them in like a black and white color just because i felt like that was universal and probably going to be the way that i use them the most just because they match with everything but as you can see they're very thick cushioned and very good quality they felt extremely good i was running on concrete i was running on the street i was running on rocks and they felt so good. I'm sure if you use these on like grass or turf or anything else with like more cushion or like a trail, like a dirt trail, they'd probably feel even better just because you're not hitting as hard on the floor with the impact. But I would honestly recommend these. My only downfall for them was that 
I did have a little bit of that pain on this side. So maybe look into that, look into a different version of these, a different style if you do have that pain, just because that is the only downside is that if I'm running a lot and I'm gonna have that pain, then it kind of sucks. It's definitely still better than the pain I was having on my whole foot from not having enough cushion, but I did experience a little bit of pain on the inner part of my foot and Overall, honestly, though, I'd still re rate these about like a 7 out of 10. They'd probably be like a 9 if I didn't have that little bit of pain. But just because I did, I felt like it was not the perfect shoe for me. But I would still recommend Hoka's or Brooks. I heard Brooks are supposed to be very good shoes for running too. And I actually tried on a pair. I got these at REI. I tried on these and then I tried a Brooks pair. The only reason I didn't get the Brooks is because I felt like these had a lot more cushion in this version and the other ones were not in my size and I didn't want to wait to have to order them. But I would definitely either recommend the Hoka's or the Brooks. And yeah, guys, let me know if you guys want to see any more reviews about shoes about other products about electronics anything let me know your thoughts if you've tried hokas if you tried other style hokas just so that i know and maybe i'll buy myself another pair and it'll work better for me or if you've tried a different brand of shoes i know there's a lot of really good running brands out there walking brands everyday shoe brands and i don't know a lot about them so i'd love to get to know more if you all are willing to share and like always be sure you like comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace